What if I told you there's a business in a box? One of the biggest niches in the digital design space and in the print on demand space is stickers. People all over the world love stickers. They're relatively easy to ship. They're low cost and they're such a versatile product. There are so many different niches and so many different designs that you could have an entire business based around stickers. Well, in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a solution. There's easy generation of stickers using artificial intelligence and prompts, and you can modify the designs as needed. Again, this works great for digital downloads and for print on demand, and not just for stickers. You could use this for any print on demand or sublimation projects like t-shirts, coffee mugs, the sky's really the limit. Let's jump in. All right, the product here is called Crispy Sticks, S-T-I-X, and I'll put a link to it in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link, and that just means if you click on the link and you purchase the Crispy Sticks option, I would receive a small commission. I've been using this here for a while and I'm really enjoying it. I'm gonna walk through how this works. Okay, so the interface is really, really easy here. This is the main page. I'm on the home button at the top, so you have this purple menu bar. And I'm just gonna scroll down a tiny bit. I've typed in raccoon with sunglasses. That's my prompt. And then I've got these different filters that I could run through. And I don't have to use a filter if I don't want to, but I'm gonna use cyberpunk here as an example. And then I've got an outline thickness for the sticker. And this is the white piece that's the kiss cut around the sticker. I'm just gonna leave it to the default of 10 and I'm going to generate the sticker. And here we can see the sticker design has come back and what I love is the white around the sticker. Now I can actually change this on the sticker even after it's generated. And it's given me even more outline now. So you could have sticker designs with as little or um, as much outline as you like. Now to download the sticker is pretty easy. There's a download button here at the bottom, download PNG, and that'll give you a digital download PNG file. And with that PNG file, you could upload it onto a site like Etsy or Redbubble, any site where you wanna sell stickers. It's also an upscale feature here as well. By clicking that, it increases the size. You can see here's my design, looks amazing, and here's the details of it. It's actually 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels. That's a pretty good size. Any designs that you save will be sitting in your gallery, which you can access on the top menu right here. So as I scroll down, we'll see here I've got a few different designs, and I can actually edit these after I've created them. I can simply find the design in my gallery. I can change the outline thickness. So in this case, I'm gonna put it to 30. I'll apply the outline. And just like that, we can see now the dog's outline has been increased. I can now upscale it. I can download it. I can even edit the design. So I'm gonna do that on this donut design here. I'm gonna click edit. And I've got a few different modes here. I've got text mode where I can add text. I've got an eraser, a brush, and I've even got some AI elements. So here on my donut design, I'd like to add something underneath it. And I'm going to simply make sure this is on text. I'm gonna click add text. It's got a font option right here where I can change the fonts. I'm gonna change it to Poppins, for example. And then I can move either my design or my text around. And I can simply type inside the box. And just like that, I've added in some text. You can then save and exit down below. Okay, and we can see that my design is back in my gallery now with the text, but if you make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. Here you can see, for example, I've moved my text so far over that it actually got cut off. So what I'm gonna do here is go into edit and I'm going to remove this text. I can do that pretty easily here. There's an eraser mode, there's an eraser size, and now I can go in and I can remove this text just like that and I could add in the text and make sure that it doesn't clip outside of the image. There's also an awesome mock-ups feature. You can see there's a ton of different mock-ups down below, and I can simply pick my design, scroll down, and you'll see that my design now is in the mock-up. So this is a really nice feature if you're listing on Etsy. You'll notice this is a square thumbnail, which is exactly what Etsy wants. When I click the phone button, you'll see it's the exact same thing. These are great looking mock-ups. You can actually move these around, you can rotate them, you can change the size as needed. There's also an Etsy listing AI generator, which is a really cool feature. Here I've put in my listing title, the number of designs in my bundle, 10 for example. I've put in a style, you don't have to though. And then here I've got my usage, allow commercial usage, my file size, and then my listing style, I'm gonna put in funny, and now I'll generate the listing. 
And over on the right, the AI has returned exactly what to put in to your Etsy listing. It's giving you keywords, it's giving you the disclaimers for digital files, commercial use approved, instantly downloadable, and it's even giving you tags. This is a massive time saver because if you're scaling up a business on Etsy, for example, or even on Redbubble if you want to just use the tags, over time this can really, really save you a ton of time and energy. I'll go over pricing here really quick. The basic price for this Crispy Sticks one-time payment gets you a lifetime subscription is 47 US dollars. That gets you 100 downloads per month, every month for the rest of your life. Now there are pro upgrades and elite upgrades, so you can check those out when you click on the video description link. But generally speaking, you'd get 100 creations a month for a one-time fee. Really hope you found this video walkthrough helpful. If you're interested in crispy sticks, make sure to check it out in the video description below. Here's another video on how you can have some fun in the world of print on demand.